Night for the league's leading rusher, DeMarco Murray. He had 32 carries for 179 yards in the Cowboys' 41 to 28 win over the Bears. Murray is on pace for 459 touches this season, which would be second most in a single season in NFL history. So this is what he had to say after the win. He said, I feel great. I don't take a lot of hard hits. I protect myself out there. The carries might be up, but I don't get a lot of damage. So that's good. Okay, so while he's looking healthy, after the game, quarterback Tony Romo revealed that he's been playing with a broken rib for nearly two months. And this is in addition to him recovering from his back surgery. So Romo said he's not sure when he suffered the rib injury. So right now we'd like to welcome in a very slim, trim NFL analyst, Damian Woody. But since, this, since we're talking about the Cowboys, Skip, let's go to you first. So do you think both of these guys will hold up for the rest of the season? I'll defer is to Skip Damian a, is, after this. What, what? Is Skip allowed to talk about yes. the Cowboys? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, why wouldn't I be? I'm the expert I, here. I, 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 I thought we, I thought we uh, addressed this. Skip should be allowed to talk about the Cowboys for another week. I, I think you decide that. Oh, okay, you go first. <laughs> How about it? Look, DeMarco Murray, listen, he's on pace for 459 touches. Skip Bayless, I don't think that's I I I don't think he'll last. Um, I hope I hope I'm wrong about that because we like DeMarco Murray. Now he has no future in television. There's no question about that because he should be working for the CIA. He has very very little to say. But I will say to you that you know we know how productive he is. He's great. You know he's he's a, he's a great football player. Uh, arguably the best running back in football right now. And I certainly don't wish any kind of injury on him whatsoever. But with this workload, if it keeps up, Skip. No, I don't believe that he can hold up. And, and I think that, you know, as the season progresses, you know, uh, particularly around playoff time or whatever, if you talk about over the last three games or so, maybe, Skip, but I think at some point in time, somebody's going to get to Tony Romo as well, not to knock him out of the game or anything like that. But do I think he's going to be ailing? I think both of them may very well end up doing so. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think it's wise. And I think that the Cowboys should be concerned about their health. But I think DeMarco Murray needs to be concerned about his health more than the Cowboys because the Cowboys are going to run him into the ground trying to make themselves relevant again come postseason time because we know they've been absent for the last four or five years. Uh, they ain't thinking about DeMarco Murray. But DeMarco Murray's playing for a new contract. I hope he's thinking about DeMarco Murray. You want to go now? Is, yes. Do I get to talk? I really don't want to allow it, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to tell all of our viewers that what you just heard was the wishful thinking of Stephen A. Smith. Not that he wishes injuries upon any human being, but deep down, heart of hearts, he's hoping that just out of normal wear and tear or abnormal wear and tear that both of my my key cowboys go down before this year is over and i'm here to tell you i am not worried about demarco but i am worried i will concede about my quarterback because as prim pointed out my quarterback actually had his second major back surgery in the off season then as we all know he fractured small bones in his back called transverse process that plague him from game to game and then, we're not sure when, but he thinks game two or three maybe, he fractured a rib the way he's fractured them in the past. And he said the biggest mistake he made all year was to not take a painkilling injection after the Sunday night quick turnaround into the Thanksgiving Day game. He, he opted not to take a shot before the Eagles game. And we know that the Cowboys took a whole lot of shots in that game on the football field. So he took a shot before last night. It's hard. He, he didn't still look right to me last night. He made one sensational play spinning out of the pocket, but it still didn't look Johnny football-esque the way Tony usually. In fact, Johnny usually looks Romo-esque to me, but Romo didn't look like he, he quite had that, that quickness that he usually has that we've seen in previous games as we saw in Seattle last night, though he did make an incredible fling. I thought he was throwing it away to Cole Beasley that resulted in a touchdown. So he's the one I worry about. And the reason I don't worry about DeMarco, and I'm going to bring it back here to Damien, is sitting in that seat, I don't know, maybe a month ago, was the great Herman Edwards. Mm -hmm. And he assured me and scoffed at Stephen A. that in, in Herm's career as a head coach in 2004, when he had um, Curtis Martin, he said, I basically just saddled the young man up. He was, he was a 31 at that point, I think and said, please carry us all the way to the playoffs. And he did with high care, but broke the Jets record for carries. Then with, remember Larry Johnson in Kansas right. City, 06, Herm did it again 
and that was 416 rushes that year. It still stands as the NFL record, and both lived to tell about it, although you can argue that, that they paid for it the next year and the next year, mm -hmm. and that's his point is that DeMarco wants his money going forward. I, I can't care about that right now because I've already picked this team to win the NFC East, so I need him to continue to carry the football. Now, when he says he doesn't take a lot of big hits, he initiates a lot of big hits. When he thinks he has the advantage on a linebacker or a safety, he'll just run them over. And again, we're, we're not talking about like Emmett's. I covered Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith was the greatest ever at avoiding contact at all costs. You could not tag him with that one big hit. So with DeMarco, he'll tag you with the big hit, but he, it seems not to bother him. So your big perspective on all this. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm here to, to ease your concerns a Thank little you. bit about DeMarco Murray, and here's why. A lot of people have brought up, you know, the, the whole injury situation because of his prior injury history. He's missed a he lot has. of time yep. early on in, in his career. Last year kind of brought a little bit of light as to what the Cowboys' plans were for DeMarco Murray. Last seven games, he, he had like 122 carries. Yep. I mean, that showed you that, that gave you a glimpse that DeMarco Murray can carry the load uh, in that Cowboys' backfield. Fast forward to 2014, you look at DeMarco Murray, I look at a couple things. Number one, he's going to be highly motivated to get that next contract. And we cannot understate how big that plays for a player that's playing for their, playing for their money. Because the one knock on DeMarco Murray is he hasn't been durable. Well, you have to stay on okay. the field to, to, you know, to show the doubters that, hey, I, I can carry the load and, not, and I deserve to get paid, deserve to get compensated. The Cowboys' offensive line, to me, in my opinion, the best offensive line in football. I'm with you. DeMarco Murray isn't even getting touched until he gets to the second level of the defense. Now, it's a different story. When you're getting hit by defensive linemen that 300 plus pounds and guys that are, Good you know, point. 50, 60, 70 pounds lighter, that's less wear and tear on your body. I mean, this guy, he's not even getting hit until five yards into the, into the defense. So I think when you add all those things up, yes, he's carrying the ball a lot, but when you don't have those extra hits from defensive linemen and you're able to take on smaller guys on the defensive side of the football, I think the Cowboys should not be worried about DeMarco Murray and his durability moving forward. But even if he was injured, would, would he not just be playing through it because he's working his way towards a contract? I like it. Listen, the money, <laughs> the money, money, play, money, money talks. talks. That's, that's a big <laughs> deal. When, yeah. when a guy is playing for his contract, you'll play through a lot of things. You will play through a lot of things to get that next contract. We all know how running backs are devalued in the National Football they League. Are. So when you have, you have to strike while the iron is hot. And right now, DeMarco Murray is hot. He's going to stay on that field. We, we hear the chat about being in the MVP consideration and all those type, type of things. Last thing you want to do if you're DeMarco Murray is be sitting on the sideline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You convinced you, you Stephen A? Nope. Uh, but listen, here's the deal. If you're the Dallas Cowboys, you don't need to be concerned because the future is not your concern. It's only right now. If DeMarco Murray isn't there for you, Adrian Peterson may be there for you. Because if the, if, the, if, he, if, if the Vikings decide to move in a different direction after everything that's transpired, you think the Cowboys won't go after Adrian Peterson, particularly if DeMarco Murray is expecting too much money from them? I mean, come on now. Well, That's something at, to consider. Well, here, here's, here's, my, here's my, my counter to you. What, what's the main reason why the Cowboys have had so much success this year? Balance. DeMarco balance Murray. on all, DeMarco yeah, DeMarco Murray. Murray and balance on offense. Because of that balance, they've been able to protect their their one key asset on the, on the football team, and that's the quarterback. It is. Yeah. If the, if you give less carries to DeMarco Murray, guess what? You're going to have to pass the ball more, and that's going to put well, Tony Romo in I jeopardy. Agree. We but, already see how much he's ailing at quarterback. So why would you put your franchise quarterback, you know, in in harm's way just that, so you no, can take away why, his carries? Well, I'm not saying they should. I'm not saying they should. I absolutely believe that they should give DeMarco Murray the ball. I'm just saying it doesn't work to the benefit of DeMarco Murray in the long term because we know how running backs are judged. And we know that the same person that they're praising, you know, all over the place right now is the same person they're going to look at once the season is over and say, well, you did have 400-plus carries. You do have a lot of wear and tear. You have had durability issues in the past. We don't know how much money we're going to be willing to give you moving forward. 
in terms of years and things of that nature. We understand that Jerry Jones is an astute businessman. Let's just call it what it is. And then when you consider the possibility that Adrian Peterson may be available because the Minnesota Vikings may elect to part ways with them, we just don't know this stuff right now. All of those things have to be considered. Clearly, the Dallas Cowboys should be giving DeMarco Murray the football because he's the reason they've been so successful, along with the offensive line. They can run the football effectively. They move the chains. It keeps the ball out of Tony Romo's hands, and it keeps the defense off the field. We understand the ingredients for the Dallas Cowboys' success. We also see what they're vulnerable to because if you can make sure that you get to DeMarco Murray to some de degree and hold him in check, therefore putting the ball in Tony Romo's hands to do even more, then you find yourself in a pretty decent situation if you're an opposing team, which is what teams are going to be looking to do. So I got one last question, Stephen A. Smith, because I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to the 9-4 and four Dallas Cowboys. Let's just say, God forbid, that Tony Romo and DeMarco Murray stay healthy for the last three regular season games. Where do my Cowboys finish? What's their record? Second. Second, Second behind the Eagles. How, what would they finish? Second. Would they would they lose two of they'll the last win, three? They'll, they'll, win, they'll, they'll win two of the last three games. They'll lose to the Eagles next week in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. um, win their last two, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that'll be that. So they'll beat Andrew Luck at home where they've lost three straight so. games. Oh, okay. I, think, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think they're going to lose. I don't think they're going to lose to Andrew Luck after losing in Philadelphia. Mm. Well, and I definitely think they're going to beat the Redskins. All this Let talk about off. durability. You know who's really durable? This guy right here. I can't get over it. You look fantastic. You look great. How do you feel right now? I feel great. I mean, I'm just trying to keep up with these two. <laughs> so, the just, can can I be a little critical? <laughs> hey, Damien, can I be a little critical? Go oh, ahead. Oh, you man. Look, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You look uh -oh. great. You look great. Here's a big but coming. you and I both, you and I both need to go to the barber, bro. <laughs> oh, Me for the goatee. You, you know, you, I, I, that mohawk thing. I'm not I feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Don't mess I'm not with the mohawk. I love you're that. Old school, bro. But you look great. You're old you look school, good. bro. No, you didn't have Yo. that before. You no. had that. You didn't have that before. You didn't have that before. Sometimes you gotta change it. Sometimes you gotta change it up, man. And sometimes, and listen, Greeny. Greedy Mike Greenberg had the, the beard and the goatee and it was working and he shaved it off because the wife told him to and then come to find out he's got to put it right back on because she said, I regret you taking it off. Let the beard grow again. I'm telling you, you tried the mohawk. I think you should go back to the old. But he's also a dude. Listen to your wife That's what, or, well, yeah, or I, the girls love it. The look, we cool, yeah. but yeah. As long as the wife loved it, I'm good, bro. There you oh, go. All right. Yeah. Tell me the wife years. loved it. I didn't yeah, know that. <laughs> Damian Woody, thank you so much for joining us today.